Roger Federer, undoubtedly one of the greatest players of all times. There are so many things about his game that we want to try and model and copy to replicate ourselves, but there is something that he does that we absolutely do not want to copy under any circumstances. This is something that I see a lot of lower level players do. So whenever I'm playing with people kind of 4.5 and below, they all tend to do this and it's really holding them back. So I'm going to explain what it is in this video and how to change it because it's a really simple fix that make a, can make a massive difference in your game. So I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, really appreciate it if you could give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, it'd be awesome if you could do that as well. So what is it that Federer does? Well, it's the way he warms up so casually. You watch Federer when he warms up, he's just stroking the ball. He's not doing a split step. He's just, you know, making it look so easy. But as you know, tennis isn't easy. He can do those things because he's got absolutely insane timing. For the rest of us, the warm-up is one of the most important parts of your practice session and matches. It's where you kind of set the tone for everything that's going to happen during that session. So the way that you warm up is going to be really important for how well you play. So when you're warming up, you want to do it exactly like you should be doing it in a match. You want to be nice and light on your toes, so barely even let your heels touch the ground. You want to be split stepping on every ball, timing your split step so that you land just after your opponent makes contact. And then you really want to be working on your footwork, your movement, and your spacing. Now, I know that sounds like a little bit of overkill in mini tennis in the warm up, but it really it isn't. When I'm hitting with lower level players, they're very static and they're trying to do it all with their arm and they're trying to kind of be casual. And honestly, it just doesn't work. You need insane levels of timing to make that happen. For us regular mortals that aren't Roger Federer, we need to be in the right place to increase our chances of hitting the shot well. Like most of the stuff that goes wrong with players is the stuff that goes on before they even start the swing. They're not quite set up in the right position. So, you know, the ball comes and I'm somehow taking a forehand up here. Whereas if I just done a little bit of footwork move back early, I'm now taking it at this comfortable point around my waist height. And my chances of executing that shot are going to go up dramatically. So you want to start that process right from the warm up. As soon as you get out there, you know, just using the appropriate footwork, trying to time the split step, move back if you need to, move forwards if you need to, program whatever shots it is that you're working on, work on your slice backhand, work on your topspin backhand, and just kind of exaggerate the quality of your footwork. Now, in order to do that, obviously, you might need to warm up before you step out there, because if you're the sort of person that arrives at the tennis court, they just go straight into men's tennis and go from there, your body might not be prepared to do it. Your feet, your ankles, they need to be warmed up so you don't injure yourself. So potentially, if you're trying to get better at tennis, it means arriving at the tennis court 10 minutes sooner, doing a proper warm-up before you play, then doing this as part of your actual warm-up, priming the movement. Get your visual system zoned into the ball so that as soon as it leaves your opponent's racket, you're doing everything you can to move into the right position and just making that a kind of habit and once that part becomes a habit it is literally going to transform the way you play so it starts in the warm and then obviously you take it to the back of the court but it can make such a difference in people's games so from here on out i hope that is something you're going to employ but something that goes along with this is how the visual system is working because in order for you to actually move and set up in the right way even in the warm-up you need to have a, a really highly functioning visual system and the reality is a lot of tennis players don't have that and that's one of the things that holds them back so even if they get the timing of the split step right it takes them a little bit of time to read where the ball's going and obviously within mini tennis that makes it even more challenging the cool thing is though there's so much you can do to improve how your visual system is functioning and I've made a free program to help you with it I'll place a link down in the description I'll place a link up there so you can check it out just about five or six drills start working on them start doing this stuff within your warm-up it will make a real difference in your game and obviously if you want to learn more about this type of training for tennis i've made this video here which is going to go into more detail about the visual system and coordination system for timing so if you're interested you'll probably uh, enjoy that video